Hello and welcome to West Country Wanderings. Welcome to a Christmas special. I'm here in the Cotswolds for a very special Cotswolds Christmas. I'm actually very close to Broadway Tower, somewhere we've been to on the channel before. In fact, it was for Cotswold Way number 10 when I completed the northern section going between here, the village of Broadway in Worcestershire, just a few miles across the border into Gloucestershire, finishing at the town of Chipping Camden. Now, I'm hoping to be visiting both those places this evening. What I'm going to do is do some little bit of photography up here at the tower, show the view, and then we're going to go into the village before it gets dark, and then I'm going to wait till it gets dark and show you the Christmas lights in Broadway. And then if I've got time, I'm going to head over to Chipping Camden to show you the Christmas lights there too, in that most beautiful of Cotswold towns. So I'm going to hope you can join me here again on West Country Wanderings for a Cotswold Christmas. It's really good to get those shots of the red deer again. Really pleased to see those today. And they were quite close to the fence, so really, really impressed with that. That's Broadway Tower behind us there. Haven't got time to go into it today, but suffice to say, just to remind you why it was built, it was built by the Earl of Coventry. In fact, they lived at Croom National Trust Place we visited before. Drop a link in on the description of that video. And the Lady Coventry wanted to see a tower from where she lived at Croom, just down in the Severn Vale, not far from the River Severn, good old Sabrina. And they lit fires at various points along the Cotswold Escarpment and decided that this point here, above the village of Broadway, was the best place to build it. It was also built to commemorate a naval battle, the name of that escapes me, and William Morris once lived here too. Yes, he of the wallpaper fame, amongst many other things too. Now it looks like that Father Christmas has already gone over to enjoy a meal perhaps, or just the views across the Cotswolds here on the ridge looking down into the Vale. But yes, we've got Santa's sleigh here too. Terrific. Now Broadway Country Park is always popular, usually gets quite busy here, particularly in the summer. Though it's a cold day in mid-December, there's still a lot of people here and it's midweek too. I said the children haven't even broken up yet as I film this here. But yeah, it's good to see good people taking advantage of the wonderful countryside here in the Cotswolds. Now it's not a greatly clear day, so I was thinking about putting my telephoto lens on, but it is a little bit hazy. That direction over there is looking towards the Clent Hills, which are just to the south of Birmingham, their National Trust. In fact, where I'm standing at the moment is known as Clump Farm, which is also National Trust. Broadway Hill Country Park is a privately owned country park. You do have to pay for parking. You also have to pay for entry to the tower as well. It's three pounds for four hours parking here. But again, you can take an advantage of those terrific views and you can grab yourself a coffee from the cafe here too. Terrific views here. As I say, Clump Hill Farm used to be a quarry. In fact, the quarry is just over there. The Cotswold Way just makes its way down the lee of the coombe there and following its way, tracking across. That's the route I did before, before I was following the Cotswold Way. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to head down into the village of Broadway to do a bit of filming on there while we've got an hour and a half of daylight still left. So I'll see you in Broadway in a bit. Well, welcome to Broadway, beautiful Cotswolds village here in the heart of the Cotswolds, or the northern section of it, should I say. It's much easier filming here this time of the year towards mid-December. If you come here in the summer, it can get very busy, as you'll see if you watch my Cotswold Way number 10 video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film a little bit around this beautiful village here in the Cotswolds, and then go to wait till it gets dark, which is only about an hour or so away its time, and we'll then do a bit of nighttime photography looking at the lights here, the Christmas lights here in Broadway. Hope you enjoy the tour.
although it's quite a dull day today, we're catching some lovely colours and it's only about 40 minutes or so before the sun sets just behind the church here in Broadway. Well, things are starting to get dark here now, which means it's getting impossible to start doing sorts, continue doing the video shots. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab myself a coffee, wait for the next 30 minutes till it gets completely dark, and then I'm going to do some nighttime photography using my tripod, it'll be in manual mode, and then I'll set those photographs to some music, and then I'll close this section here at Broadway, and then we'll move over to the town of Chipping Camden. Well, I hope you enjoy that tour here from the Cotswold village of Broadway. We're going to make our way now over to the Cotswold town of Chipping Camden, which is just five miles away. So I'll see you over in Chipping Camden in a bit. Now, apologies for the poor image quality, but we're here in Chipping Camden. Obviously, I'm under artificial light conditions and it's fairly low light as well. I'm in the famous marketplace in Chipping Camden. This 
it belongs to and is owned by the National Trust. And just over there, 18 months ago, I completed the northern section of the Cotswold Way. Welcome to have a look at that. There is a separate playlist for that. Anyway, we're here to have a look at the Christmas lights in the beautiful town of Chipping Camden, here in the Cotswolds. Well, I hope you've enjoyed a Cotswold Christmas with a tour from Broadway Tower down into the village of Broadway as it goes through twilight, looking at the Christmas lights and across here to the lovely town of Chipping Camden. That's it for West Country Wanderings on the video today. I'd like to wish all of you a very, very Merry Christmas. I will have my Christmas vlog coming up very soon for the month of December. So be more, be seeing me more if you watch, decide to tune in that is, before the big day itself. In the meantime though, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, and I hope to see you on the channel again very soon. All the best, bye bye.